What's up guys, how are you doing? And today we're jumping on the marksman tier list. And this has been asked so many times, so many times. Um a new updated tier list. Because I did one back in what 2021 or something like that. And um everybody wants to see another tier list and another um another top guy, I guess. They want to see who do I think is the top guy. But um, yeah, as I told you guys that here, yeah, this is my opinion. This is my opinion and this is my MMR. So it means that let's say a pro like this guy that always trying to challenge everything I say, his name is what unity man or whatever he says, he's a pro. So he's meeting people that are at a higher level than me that are better than me by far and whatnot so he's like the tier list doesn't really make sense because the people he are meeting are dominating him with this and that and that's him <laughs> but maybe at my mmr i mean it could just be because of my ping or whatnot i don't show how um once his studios does the mmr thing if they add any other thing variations in it um to maybe assist people with higher higher pings so they can see probably a slightly lower mmr people or whatnot i don't know what they do but he, he sees something different so he he's, he opposes it so um let's get started um you could also do your own tier list so i could see it and maybe rate it based on how i play and who i meet and um let's just see so first we have styley here and styley actually is a lot better better now because they were buffs and nerfs and automatic buffs and automatic nerfs because of certain characters and the new skills that we have and stuff like that and um it changed up the meta a bit and um i probably should have waited a lot more time to maybe make this tier list to have um probably a lot of more hours maybe under my belt for every single one of these snipers but i played all of them for more than five hours for more than 10 hours probably maybe for more than 20 20 hours i wouldn't say maybe 20 hours but i played them so much i play 10 hours a day sometimes so that's how i i usually do and I said that in many of my videos, um, I probably have more than a thousand hours by now in Caliber and um, Styley. Styley, I put it, put him at C. And um, Styley, the only drawback really is that um, the damage. Now you that you have the potency um, skill that makes him get 35% um, more potency to his um, effects, his bleeding effects, is actually very good very good it's fire it is kind of slow and if you add actually add more fire it then he actually becomes kind of retarded if you want if you want to put it that way because he's he's um gone he's not starting to bounce all around and you're not gonna start to hit your shots um better it doesn't really help you <laughs> it's by making him get a higher fire rate so it's better to keep him almost at the fire rate he has it's not like tntn most likely because of the um the suppressor they add a kind of like a lower fire rate to it it makes sense because he has a suppressor but um styley is a bit different it looks like he doesn't have a suppressor on his gun that that does that same that same type of um recoil management i guess um so adding more more fire rate don't really help much but styley i think he's good at c um tn for sure tn is basically an s tier um, everybody knows that everybody who plays TN says TN is just too good for um, for that for his um, being a maxman. Um, he can turn invisible. He gets boosted speed when he's invisible. He has a um, semi-auto rifle that does a decent amount of of damage. And basically, the invisibility alone is like S tier for um, for most people because why the game does a good job of holding your hands. I said that many times, and it outlines people um automatically and as soon as you are not outlined changes everything it just changes everything and um he's at s tier and um, we're not gonna linger too long because if i start to add uh, skills to it and tell you what skills doing what and what it's gonna be a long video and then <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of problems at the end of it because um some people don't have the skills so they can't really resonate with that it's a bit different so um yeah we got vagabond vagabond and vagabond i put vagabond at um hmm. vagabond could well be a d i'm telling you vagabond could well be a d but i'll put him as a bad c i'll put him as a as a bad c um vagabond one of the characters that i actually got collaterals with so i i, I have some clips where i got some collaterals not enough for me to make a montage video but 
I hate triplets. <laughs> so triple kills, I got triple kills of him because why? Well, he has this ability, right? Where he can basically do 100% of the damage if you have the right upgrades. 100% of the damage to anybody who's about 15 meters near him. So if you made um, some of the characters soft and you just managed to hit one person, maybe a headshot, and it just hit everybody else, they're dead. You can even shoot a dead body. Not to mention his um his drone being one of the most annoying things in the game. I mean Spotnik drone is annoying, yes, but being able to stun you every time and confuse you. Yeah, it's it's good. But his damage is as whack. Why do I have to eat a freaking um assault player like almost three times to kill them? I mean it doesn't make sense. And now that you can basically make yourself so tanky, it's throws him down more and more. So he's not really a pick, he's not really a viable pick right now. Um, and we have Strelok. Strelok is actually a, a B. Strelok is very good. He's not good at range. He's not a sniper. He's he's basically uh he's a marksman. Then let's, let's let's call him a marksman because we call these guys of bolt actions and and and, and semi autos um snipers. So he's like a marksman with uh he has probably a marksman rifle, but it's not it's not a, a bolt action or something that we call a sniper. And um. So it's not good at um, distances. He's only good at, let's say, medium to close range. And it's more medium to close rather than medium to, to far range, right? And um, it's pretty nice. Um, he's, a, he's a defensive character. He has to run up on people. That's what his ability is to reveal people um, that are within a certain amount of meters next to him. Um, his ability kind of sells, sells him out too because you can actually see which direction the person have, um, is revealing from. So you can know Strelok is around this corner and not around this one if you're looking at where when he do the, uh, the ability. His damage is pretty nice, but 20 damage is not really a lot, a lot. That means you have to hit someone, let's say, about 7 damage, 7 um, shots to actually kill them most likely. Bop, 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 20. Yeah, about seven shots for the list to really kill someone. If you had some headshots, probably to be five. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's actually nice, but he's very situational too. So you have to be always um, sneaking up on people and stuff like that. Using the ability is not really a, a, a choice for sneaking up because the person will know that you're coming and you're right around the corner. But he's good. He's good. Not my favorite pick, but um, he's up there. Um, Scout and I put Scout as actually A and Scout is one of those characters he has a high headshot damage probably 50, 51 51 headshot damage and that's pretty pretty nasty that's actually pretty pretty nasty for having an auto rifle that does that amount of damage you also have a flare that you could throw he's a defensive character he has a claymore he has the flare now you can throw it around the corner and know if in case a character is there and you can actually play defensive on that that area that you have basically um um lit or um, um revealed everybody at in that radius and um yeah he's just pretty much a, a all fun character to have when it comes to um not playing both actions so as i said in my past he's actually better than strelok and that's just that's just it. Sherlock has a better fire rate for sure, but damage wise, I don't think you can compare to a scout. And um, we have here Diablo. Diablo has been rising. I'm telling you, the ability and his um, the skill they added, bullet point making everything potent. Burning Diablo is freaking annoying now. I hate going up against Diablos now. Now he can burn everybody at next to him. I think that was already in his kit probably, but now it's like, it's not prominent because this guy, you're trying to revive him and then you're burning too. And you can actually burn without even being too close to the person. <laughs> it's just, it's just amazing to tell you the truth. So yeah, I'm putting Diablo at A. Diablo is actually pretty good. Um... And I like Diablo. Diablo is quickly becoming one of my favorites too. Um, to this non bolt actions um fire rate is nice he has the one of the best recoils for the fire rate so his recoil is perfect for his fire rate and um the damage obviously burning damage and the skill makes it amazing um we have who's that sultan and sultan <laughs> man i gave sultan a bad time when i first started to play him but sultan velocity 
he's like a hit scan character right now and um if you can hit headshots i don't think you're gonna have a problem with sultan so then one shot almost everybody is 165 headshot damage so that's basically one shot in everybody expect for let's say almas with his ability or anybody not using their ability you'll probably be able to kill them one shot he has his um jammer which makes him invisible you pick it up you put it down before it expires you pick it up he's the best sniper in the game right now he's the best sniper in the game um and um i'll, I'll even put him higher than tn to make sure that you you know that um he's just too good all the pros are saying it and i myself am saying it even even in my mmr he, he he's gonna be destroying everybody um granted that you don't hit body shots because it's gonna take free shots to shoot a lot of people so what i mean one more hitting shots headshots you have to hit headshots and you, you can't really miss unless you're playing with high ping like me so you have to lead a little bit but aim on the head that person dead aim on the head that person dead i have some montages on my the caliber only channel so you guys can check it out if you want to see it but he's just op he's just op and i don't want him to nerf him because when you're playing high ping it you need someone like that. Um, Emma. Um, Emma is actually my favorite um, of the snipers. Um, I fell in love with her from since the beginning, before everybody, all other characters were joining or whatnot, or even before um, the nerfs and the buffs. <laughs> I loved Emma, and I, I always thought that she was an S tier character. I always thought that she was an S tier character. The stuns. So with the color meter sight, you literally can stun people and always follow up with a. If you always hit in a second shot, you will kill them. Um, just stunning the person leaves them open for shots from your teammates also. So a lot of people don't use good R and R, so they are not immune to like stuns. Good R and R is one of the best skills to put when you always meeting characters like Bob on and whatnot. As long as your um your stamina is above the threshold, whatever it is, whether it's a hundred, um, you won't be able to get stunned. But with with Emma, trust me, the stuns stun game is very OP. Stunning is the most annoying thing in every game. Call of Duty is like destroying the game right now. And um with her, um you're always guaranteed a kill if you can follow up the shot. Next thing is that her pistol is actually automatic with about 30 shots in it. And um that is actually very kind of OP because she also have a proc sensor. She have a tug which can which has a radius and she can actually um sense who's passing. It, it it kind of like does a little snapshot ping. So it's not like you can like see them walking around or whatnot. But at the end of the day, that combination, that kit is actually very much overpowered, to tell you the truth. If only she was she had invisibility. <laughs> then that would be the icing on the cake. But um, yeah, Emma is actually um, pretty good. So cool. One of the characters I would tell you don't buy. <laughs> don't buy Sokul. Cool. There's other characters better than him. He has an ability that tries to loop you in. He tries to hook you in. Um, it's, um, I can't remember the name, but it makes you shoot your gun faster for a couple of seconds and make you waste your bullets because the recoil is not all that good. And his damage is actually pretty sweet, to tell you the truth. Damage is pretty sweet. He's one of them doing one of the nice damage, but his fire rate without the ability is just pretty trash. Um, his mines, he cannot pick it back up when he puts it down in the ground. Um, he's one of the characters people do tell you stay far from. And there's also another character that's coming next. And there he is right there. You should always stay far away from him. Um, Archer is pretty good with his damage. Pretty good with his damage, I'm telling you. He can one shot maybe every single character in the game if he hits a, if he hits a headshot. But um his drawback is every time he shoots, he slows. And even though you use an ability to remove the slow, it just doesn't work. So he's pretty much a sitting duck. They gave him gas. I'm not too sure why they gave him gas for. I mean, he's a, he's a, um, a sniper. It makes sense to add him something like a claymore or something like that. Or maybe even remote detonated grenade. Um, C4 or something like that. That would be nice even in case um, you're like camping. You know, but they gave him gas. I'm not sure why they gave him gas for that. Was some of, some of the most retarded thing, um, you could do for him. But um, yeah, he has high recoil on his gun. Every time you shoot, you get slowed. They are better snipers than these guys for sure.
yeah we have kurt one of the the most balanced guys and i i would always put him at a high a high price and it's a um his damage he, he does 70 damage which is more than the all his characters up there i think um he does 70 damage and i think 160 for headshots or 165 and um his pirate is actually kind of perfect to full up shots but if you're using his color meter site you're gonna get a lot of kills you probably wouldn't be shooting people at um let's see over 100 meters or something like that but if in case you're kind of like running and gunning a little bit medium mediumish kind of range you'll be able to destroy people because the color meter site has the most the most minimal latency um when it comes to um getting your snipes on or quick scoping or whatnot because there's a delay when you see you scope in there's like a slight delay of your ping and everything and the whole game trying to trying to center up your shot basically so you would scope 100 and you wouldn't hit the shot but with the color meter side that's why it works so good with um um aimer as soon as you scope it's like it's already centered on the person it doesn't have to do have to do that kind of red thing where it's have to center itself first before you can hit the person and um, it works pretty good and his ability makes it actually pretty nice and he has claymores also but his ability which is why i said that he needs some um archer needs something like that because you're sniping you need to hide in a corner and stay there and maybe people trying to push you they die while coming he has that and his ability actually is pretty good because when you have done someone anybody around them actually gets spotted and it's for a long time yeah it's for a long time um we have kumar um kumar is like like vagabond these two guys have the best abilities in the game shooting through covers he has a, a drone that can reveal you these are so good but his damage is 55 man what are you gonna do for 55 damage you and he can't one shot anybody in the head now because well it depends on what route maybe the the enemy went but now you can get enough hp to to not never get one shot by coma you can shoot through walls which is good when you shoot shoot through the, through the wall and you shoot someone um, it automatically reveals you them so then you can shoot more and all them stuff like that that's that's good that's good but if you have to focus on someone to shoot them three times to kill them it's just it's like you're deviating from the plan right there because you're focusing too much on trying to shoot one character um his pistol isn't like automatic so he's not going to like destroy someone who sneaks up on him like that not even headshots are going to kill someone the headshots are like 118 or something like that and everybody's hp right now is above 118 so he's just bad but the best abilities these guys have the best abilities if they had higher damage they'd probably be viable probably be real viable um kang long kang long i actually put kang long at a kang long has one of the best fire rate damage headshot damage um not velocity his velocity he still kind of sucks even though you add it in his um upgrades but he can turn invisible and um he's more for let me put let me see where i can put him i'll put him before kurt for sure i'll put him before kurt he's better than kurt right now being able to do an invisible same kind of invisibility invisibility kind of effect the only annoying thing is that his ability to or his upgrades i'll say his upgrade that allows you to shoot through covers it's gonna mess you up i deactivate that because it's 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 messing you up having to hold down and the game doesn't really know even in case you really want to either shoot for cover or actually do a, a sniping a sniping um it just doesn't really work properly so i removed that i never used it since since launch a couple of days after launch and I, after he launched i never really used it again i i'm done with, with being able to shoot for covers i don't care about that anymore i wish there was like a toggle to activate it but the fact that you have to you choose it before you go into the game i don't really care about it but um yeah he's um it's pretty good damage wise um fire rate wise better than archer by far and um being invisible very op and um it's, it's like one of them characters i'll tell you by i'll tell you by but i'll tell you guys that after um 
So you have Busso. What are those characters that I don't see anywhere? I don't see anywhere. Um, the reason why I hate him as much because he don't bring nothing new to the table that, that you can use. He comes here with um, ballistic um, ballistic knives and I play so much Call of Duty with ballistic knives and this guy does make me feel annoyed every single time I play with him because I, they give the knife some kind of arch and it just doesn't work. He just doesn't work. He doesn't bring nothing new to the table because this ability is just kind of useless. He does have an ability ability that actually gives him a little bit of hp it's not all that but that's actually pretty nice um if he was a free character which i don't even know if he's a free character or what no but um yeah he's pretty mad to be honest pretty mad doesn't bring nothing useful to the table unlike this guy right here right there right there vidar no vidar is is amazing vidar is actually very op right now Vida is a, like a better scout, but then he has heat seeking explosive drones, and you just throw it up. You almost guarantee the kill because it, it, it seeks, the, seeks the person, and you can get up to four of them if you have the right um, skills. If you have the right skills equipped, you can have four of them. So you can use one every round or two, and then two. And he's just pretty good. His head stretch damage is actually pretty nice also. It's somewhere in the 50s, I think, or probably even higher. Um, but he's a better scout. He's, he's, he's literally a, a, better, a better scout. Um, next thing is that he get, for every character that um, dies, he gets 5%. Every teammate that dies, incapacitated, he gets 5% more resistance to damage. So if you're the only one alive, then you get, what, 20, 20 um, 15, 15 damage um, resistance. So it's, it's kind of nice, but Vidar is um, pretty, pretty, pretty OP, pretty OP, to be honest, for um, being like a, a semi-auto rifle kind of thing. Yeah, so um, last guy, a girl. There's only two girls on the list. Yeah. So, um, Avalanche. Uh, this one is actually a tough one because Avalanche does a lot of damage. Um, but something about her ability just messed up my head and her special gear. The ability, very OP. Um, you can literally, um, when you squeeze it, your whole teammates are invisible. Very nice, you get extra speed boost. And um, the special gear, the mortar, the fact that you don't know which map you are going into, um, you end up in maps whereby there isn't really an outside. So let's say radar, for instance. The only outside is like where the spawns are, and after that, special gear is useless. So it's almost useless on a lot of maps. And it's useless because you don't know what map you're going on. So you have a mortar and you keep going on maps. Because I've been meeting that 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 this map. Um what's it? It's radar and the new map that we have, you know, the the um the oil rig map. And it's almost useless trying to use it there. There isn't really place to use it, so it's like it just messes with my head. But if you're looking to do some semi semi damage, which I think it's kind of knob in case you want to pull up tapping, tapping, tapping. Unless some of you guys are using macros, which I, I, I suspect. I played a couple games where people were actually using macros. You can tell. What I do, I just put, run it through um, my Adobe Audition. And you can literally see that the clicks are every single that amount of milliseconds. Nobody can click that good. So I just, I, I just say, well, um, because they're... Um, developers well the developers of the mouse is literally add macro to the game and the developers actually uh, support these mouses because they they usually have um events where they where they say go buy this mouse or whatever not and these mouse have macros so i guess this is part of games now and we just have to accept that people can use macros to play all these characters like Perron and whatnot my mouse in fact is a logitech logitech hero if you can see that and it has that capability, but I don't use it because it doesn't really feel feel good. But a lot of people use it. 
But I'm putting her at freaking B. I'm putting her at B. And I'll put her in front of um Strelok right there. <clears throat> and um Yeah, I think that's that's it for the um for the tier list. She's um pretty nice, but not nice enough that you get value out of her in every area. And um so just for all you guys to know who is the top three characters or marksmen that I would pick. And I'll let's put every one of them below here first. Um So the top three characters I would pick right now. Okay, so if I want to be a semi-auto king, or yeah, I'd say semi-auto king, I'll take Tien. And which one is Tien? I keep forgetting which one is Tien. I think he's Tien. So I'll pick Tien. Tien is, is the best. So you'll always want to pick um, the best. And if I want to be a hit scan king, Sultan. And if I want to be a bit more, let's say, more devious with what I'm doing, I would actually pick him right here. And um, that's basically top three. But if I had to pick another one, I'd say um, my girl right here, Ama. So um, these are the, the top four. And if I had to pick a next one, I would probably pick Vidar, but Vidar is OP, but I don't like playing that type of way. <laughs> I don't like playing that type of way. So it's just kind of messed up. But yeah, these are the top five characters that I would I would pick and I would probably recommend you trying to learn. For sure. Sultan. Ema, not as much as Ema, but she's, she's very deadly. Um, Vidar. Yeah, well, for his... For his um, drone, he's pretty OP. This is one of the characters I think uh, I would always choose. Kang Long. Kang Long is probably my first buy. And then Tian. Tian, if I want to be kind of like a, a bit troublesome, I would say. And uh, yeah, this is my, my tier list. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and um, subscribe if you haven't.